So you've probably seen our previous video about what you shouldn't do about where you jack underneath the sump on a Subaru. Um, check out that video if you haven't seen it yet. But what we decided to do this time is before we pull the engine out, pull the sump off, for more information for the client, we've put a magnet um, probe inside the bottom of the sump because I can stick my finger in there and there's lots of horrible mechanical parts that I can feel. So what we did was we stack, stuck this probe in here which has got a magnet on the end. If you can see that, that actually there would you believe it or not, is actually a piece of broken ring land off one of the pistons and the whole heap of other stuff. So what I'm going to do now is I'll wipe that bit off because we need to keep that for the client. But that, and so you can see that's just the magnet. What I'm going to do is stick that in here and wriggle that around. Oh, there's even, there's more. What else can we find? There's a bit of a lucky dip inside there. Oh, there you go, there's even, so there's more, more parts of the engine and the ring. And I think that's pretty obvious what we know we're gonna find when we pull this engine apart. So final summary is, is for goodness sakes, when you're jacking up on the underside of a Subaru, jack on the jacking point here, don't jack up on the sump, otherwise it can be a very, very expensive mistake. And uh, stay tuned for our next video on this particular engine. I'm sure it's gonna be an interesting one. My name is Brett Middleton. Thanks for watching.